right we're gonna cross over the Mississippi porch out heading out west frontier in Arkansas Olivia? that's the river porch out the Mississippi River Logan that's where we went in the boat sweetie look oh the river's got big it looks boat. like Arkansas here comes Arkansas uh, Tennessee. I think it's my first time ever in Arkansas. Hello, Arkansas! Buckle up, this is the natural it's state. Underneath us. <laughs> KOA in Springfield, Missouri. Just pulled in. Jessica's checking in right now. Nice little tree-lined RV park. Not sure if we're going to stay here the full week or if we're going to head to Kansas City early since this is a long weekend. <clears throat> we're at the KOA in Springfield, Missouri. We just pulled in, unpacked everything, and it's actually pretty nice. It's really wooded. You hear a lot of birds chirping. It's a lot of nice shade. You know, they have a pool and playground and other stuff. Um, still not 100% sure if we're gonna stay here, even though we like it, because we might go to Kansas City um, tomorrow or Monday, and I can have a cousin there that maybe I can see, and we can spend the week there. But this is a good option if you end up staying. It's really nice thus far. Um, kind of see. There's the truck. And Jessica is with the kids <clears throat> riding bikes somewhere. Oh, somewhere down there. All right, pork chop. Shade here. It's a milestone for us here. Our first bike trail, albeit a paved one, and Olivia is riding bikes with us. All on her own. Good job, pork chop. Let's see you go fast. Maybe watch where you're going. Stay in the middle. Yeah, we're in the forest. Pay attention. You're going fast now, so you gotta pay attention. Yeah, pork chop's first puddle on a bike. Here it comes. Fast! You gotta go fast! Pedal hard! Do that puddle, pork chop! You gotta pedal! Pedal! Pedal hard! Like mommy, pedal! Pedal hard! Oh, you're getting your back wet too. <laughs> yeah, you're mountain biking now, poor chap. Yeah. Oh, did I get wet? Logan wet? <laughs> so we decided to stay in Springfield and then it being a great decision because we really enjoyed our stay here. This KOA we stayed at was really nice and they do this wagon ride uh, for the kids where they tow them behind this golf cart. A little train ride, they call it. And the kids absolutely loved it. We've been waiting for this all day. All day long. Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit next to you. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah. Okay, Logan. Okay, we got bye bye. Daddy's going after you. Bye bye. Smile. Hello. Hi. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Logan. Oh, hi, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. And bordering the KOA are train tracks, and freight trains go by 
all day, probably every 45 minutes. And so the kids absolutely loved this. This was a huge treat for them. And at first, Pork Shop was a little bit scared. Wow. You know, it was pretty loud going by, She's but strange, then you know? she just loved it. You know, both Har and Logan. And they made me drag them down here. Every time we heard the train horn in the distance, we had to run down here and look at it, like multiple times each day. I mean, look at here. This is 6 a.m. You can see them, they're still in their pajamas. And they heard the train and I had to whisk them over here in the wagon so that they could watch it whiz by. Check out this tow vehicle and travel trailer. Our campground has all classic cars and hot rods in it. And so apparently there's a big street rod festival or something at the fairgrounds nearby. So we're gonna go check it out and see what's there. Here, you want to push them or you want to? I'm push them. You can, you can see what's interesting and direct us. Thunderstorms approaching and lightning yet again. So we're at the car show, but we're gonna hightail it back to our car now before it gets, uh, whoop, there goes some lightning before it really uh, starts coming down. But all in all, it's an interesting car show. They just got a lot of cool stuff to see. Um, it's kind of neat. Adios. We just made it out of the car show in time. The biggest surprise of all was the Wonders of Wildlife National Museum and Aquarium. We did not expect this. This place was amazing. We went here and, you know, we weren't expecting much. We thought it was going to be some rinky dink museum. And it turned out to be one of the best museums and the best aquarium I've ever been to in my life. And I didn't realize it only opened two years ago and actually has been voted the best aquarium in the country. Um, they spent $300 million on it. The, the owner, of Bass Pro Shops is the one that did this. He funded this and built this. And it's absolutely unbelievable inside. I mean, if you're ever in Missouri, you have to see this place. I mean, they have just so many different fish and tanks and giant fish and just the, the exhibits are just unbelievable. They have, um, you know, these things where the kids can stand up inside the, the various tanks and whatnot. the stingrays that the kids can go and, and pet as they go by. And uh, the kids really love the penguin exhibit, obviously, especially when they started bringing, whizzing by them left and right. They were going crazy. When I had this giant screen where the kids would draw and color in their own little fish and then they would scan it in and then there it is. It would show up on the screen swimming around. There's Olivia's right there. And you can watch it swim all around the, the fishy colored. The museum is really divided into two sections, the aquarium and the wildlife uh, museum. And the wildlife piece is also unbelievable. Like the, it's one of the things that makes uh, this museum and aquarium so nice is all the exhibits, you kind of feel like you're walking through them, like you're, you're inside of them. 
they really make it like you're walking through Serengeti or you're walking through a certain uh, the bayou and there's alligators like even the smell in certain places has that feel to it when you're walking through the Ar Arctic um, exhibits and so it's really it's really something special. Alright, we're gonna cook up some steaks from the local butcher here in Can uh, Missouri. We are leaving Springfield, Missouri on our way to Kansas. Um, ultimately we're going to be in the middle of Kansas, but tonight we're going to stop off in the Kansas City suburb and try to stay with my cousin for a night. But it's an extremely narrow street with a really tiny driveway. The driveway is only 50 feet long and I mean we're more than that already. And I looked at the Google Maps and I give it maybe a 50-50 chance that I can back into that driveway. So if we can't fit in there, we'll have to um, find an RV park for the night. But it might be comical to watch me trying to do it at least. Well, we didn't know we had family in Kansas City, so this was kind of a good um, change to our plans. And we were able to flex um, with that. We did call ahead on an RV park close by, and they said they have a few spots open. So if we have to, we can't always yeah. go there. But we're just planning to stay the night. So. That shouldn't be too bad. Yep. So Springfield, Missouri was a really nice surprise. Probably my favorite little stop so far. Okay, we liked it because it was really shady and the we trees, had a good spot. The trees, phenomenal museum. We finally enjoyed eating outside. Yep, um, eating outside. Museums here, if you ever come to Springfield, Missouri, you must see the Wonders of Wildlife and Aquarium. Uh, new attraction to the country, but it's rated what the best aquarium in the U.S. and we were quite impressed. We spent three hours there, so definitely worth the stop if you're here. Yeah, that was good. Alright, until next All time. Alright, until Kansas. <laughs>